when operating your chainsaw, avoid all situations which you consider to be beyond your capability. If you still feel uncertain about operating procedures after watching these videos, please consult an expert before continuing. Also consider taking a chainsaw course through your local dealer or forestry school. And of course, read the owner's manual. Before you begin, make sure you are using the latest in chainsaw safety equipment. This includes a protective helmet with hearing protection or earplugs, protective goggles or a visor, gloves with saw protection, trousers with saw protection, boots with saw protection, steel toe cap, and non-slip soles. Always have a first aid kit, fire extinguisher, and shovel nearby. Every Husqvarna chainsaw is equipped with a chain brake that is designed to stop the chain should you encounter any kickback. The chain brake reduces the risk of accidents, but only you can prevent them. Take care when using your saw and make sure the kickback zone of the bar never touches any object. The chain brake can either be activated manually with your left hand or automatically by the inertia release mechanism. Kickback can be very sudden and violent. Most kickbacks are minor and may not always activate the chain brake. If this happens, you should hold the chainsaw firmly and not let go. Use the chain brake as a parking brake when moving over short distances in order to reduce the risk of a moving chain accidentally hitting your leg or anyone else's leg. The way the chain brake is activated depends on the force of the kickback and the position of the chainsaw in relation to the object that the kickback zone strikes. If you get a violent kickback while the kickback zone of the bar is farthest away from you, the brake is designed to be activated by the inertia in the kickback direction. If the kickback is less violent or the kickback zone of the bar is closer to you, the chain brake is designed to be activated manually by the movement of your left hand. Never refuel the machine while the engine is running or is hot from recent use, and always make sure your fueling area has plenty of ventilation. After fueling, move the machine at least 10 feet from the refueling point before starting it. Never start the machine if you have spilled fuel or chain oil on the machine. Wipe off spillage and allow remaining fuel to evaporate. Never start the machine if you have spilled fuel on yourself or your clothes. 